Hi, this is the Electron Analog Heat, a stereo analog sound processor. It has eight different distortion circuits, a multimode filter, an EQ, envelope follower, and several modulation capabilities. I won't get so much into the sonic abilities of the Heat. Instead, I will focus on the recently released firmware update that adds USB class compliant audio. This means we can easily get digital audio from phones, tablets, and computers in and out of the unit in various ways. I'm going to show a few examples of this. First off, we need to turn this functionality on by going to System Settings and in the USB Config menu selecting the USB Audio MIDI mode. Then in the Audio Routing menu we can choose how the digital USB audio is going to flow in and out of the machine. We can inject as well as tap in various combinations. In addition, we can choose whether the analog input and outputs should be used in the processing as well, allowing for several different use cases. It basically allows for a subset of the overbridge flows, but in a USB class compliant host instead. Let's start with the default mode, which is called Insert, and leave the analog switch to Auto. More about this later. Before we start with some examples, just a quick explanation on how the audio is being routed. In this picture we see the analog heat with its built-in inputs and outputs. The red arrows mean stereo analog audio coming from the input, being run through the analog effects and ends up on the output. If we then add a USB class compliant host to this, we have these blue arrows meaning stereo digital audio. In the insert mode we're able to simultaneously send audio from the host to be processed by the heat, as well as getting processed audio back into the host. Here I'm going to do an example of this, to film an analog rhythm and heat jam into the iPhone's camera, where the heat is the last unit in the chain. When connecting the phone, the dashed lines that goes to CC, meaning class compliant, are now solid, indicating it is connected. And now, when it's done, I stop the recording on the phone and can go to the camera roll to play back the same clip through the heat. Still in the same mode, insert, we could also use the heat to beef up the audio from anything from the phone, like here, an old YouTube clip of mine. We could also process some audio from the phone, while simultaneously recording it on the same phone. I'm gonna use the app AUM OM to do this, and I'm gonna set it up here. So creating an audio channel, disabling any output, and setting the heat to go to the input, then enabling a rec on the channel, 
and start recording. Then in the music app I play a song. Okay, we have stopped the recording and we can listen to it. To do this, I'm actually going to use the bypass mode to get direct access to the outputs. Now for some digital processing of analog audio in an app instead. Let's put the audio routing in pre-mode, which means that the audio from the analog input on the heat get routed to the USB host and then we can channel it back to the heat to continue the processing normally. The analog in-out setting decides if we should disconnect the direct path between the analog jacks in any ways, enabling us to use the phone as a true pre-circuit insert. In auto mode we can see that the switch is automatically opened and closed when the iPad in this case is connected. Connecting the iPad opens the switch, so to get some sound again we need to set up a track where the heat gets routed to the app and back. The last mode, which was mentioned briefly before, is bypass, where the USB audio is not going through the heat's effects. This makes it perfect to be used as a sound card for a computer, for instance. When setting the analog in out to off, neither the analog in nor analog out are routed to the heat's effects for highest fidelity. Here's an example of how it can look in logic when using the heat as a sound card. And that's all for this time. Thanks for watching.